Hello and welcome back everybody. Today we are looking at a Heathkit HR10B. Uh, obviously it's a receiver as you can see probably here. It mentions a uh, receiver model HR10B and uh, I really don't have a whole lot of information on, um, on this unit other than it powers up and uh, of course you know all the the given information that's labeled on it. It's a tube, uh, a tube receiver, as you can see, and uh, obviously it has some sort of a uh, RF gain uh, control here. Uh, it goes from 0 to 80, as best I can tell. Not exactly sure what that's all about, but obviously it must be for trimming. And of course it does uh, 10 meters, 15, 20, 40, and 80 meter. Uh, it has a calibration reset here. Uh, cal reset calibration and then an antenna trim. I do have it hooked up to my uh, shortwave antenna which is a 45 uh, foot uh, end feed antenna and uh, I'm really not getting in anything out of it. I uh, can't hear anything. I had it hooked up to uh, headphones to a uh, guitar amp but uh, because I don't have the jack that fits that of course but rather than being rambling on, because I, I don't know a whole lot about the radio, I haven't even Googled any information on it yet. But I just pulled this out of the shed. This is one of the barter radios that uh, that I that I received, and so it has uh, RF gain, uh, ANL on and off. Uh, sorry, AF gain, I should say, on and off uh, and an ANL, RF gain here, uh, and this is an AVG or AVC, on and off. This is for these, this meter, I guess. Obviously, it shuts it off, turns it on. Uh, BFO, basically, and a BFO switch here, on and off, and the band switch, which goes 10, 15, 20, 40, and 80, as suggested on the plate here. And uh, we have um, off calibrate button, calibrate and on, on off button, I should say, and a standby, and receive. So uh, let's have a look at the backside. Okay, I've taken the liberty of taking off the uh, the top uh, while I'm looking at the back here. Of course, we have the antenna in here, and we have a sticker here which says uh, HR10B. Very hard to pick out. Uh, serial number, of course, and it says Heath. It doesn't say Heath Kit, but it says Heath anyway. And we have a meter zero adjustment here, and uh, here is a plug of sorts. Uh, the last piece of equipment that we looked at, the general, that uh, had the same thing, I think. I don't know if this pulls out or what. I don't want to break it, but uh, it says uh, muting and ground on that plug there. And, of course, this is the uh, power supply. It goes to the transformer. And we have a speaker, uh, speaker 8 ohm, it says. Speaker 8 ohm, which is a RCA jack. So uh, let's uh, have a closer look now at the uh, the internal of the radio, the internals. Of course we have a transformer here, we've got some, uh, I'm going to be careful where I'm touching here, but uh, we have some crystals here. We have a really big one over here. Uh, this one here says Heathkit 100KC XTAL uh, Calibrator Model HR, what does that say? Very difficult to see these things. I may as well try to get at it while I'm at it. It says uh, model HRA 10-1. So obviously this is a separate um, component, you know, to, to, to have in consideration, of course. Uh, of course, a tuning capacitor here, and uh, the tuning string, as we can see up here. Uh, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It looks like ten tubes. Not so sure about these. So. These are probably just capacitors, but uh, there's definitely one here. There's a tube, it looks to be. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight tubes that I can see, possibly. And maybe ten, uh, if we want to consider these, but I'm not a tube expert, as you can tell. Um, yeah, so we have um, basically a... Uh, a receiver radio with tubes that's blowing, and uh, but I'm not receiving anything. Now I noticed there are several bulbs that are lit, 
However, there may be some that is not. So to that end, I need to close the curtains. And uh, actually, the curtains ain't going to close a whole lot. But uh, let me just point out the bulbs uh, that I'm seeing. Um, I should the valves or the tubes, I should say, um, that are working. If I can find something, there's nothing here that's non-conductive. Okay, so we have this one. Uh, if you can see that in my hand here, this one is glowing. This one is glowing. One back here is glowing. Um, this one looks like it's sick and not working. Uh, this one is glowing. There's three in back of the transformer back here on the right hand side that are glowing. This one's glowing. And so, yeah, we may. Oh, hold on. Yeah, no, this tube is glowing. Sorry about that. Just couldn't see it from the dust on the top. So, yeah, it looks like everything is working. It desperately needs a cleaning. It's not terrible for its age. Um, so, let's turn the light back on. I'm not going to belabor this because, as you know, um, in most of my videos lately, I'm looking for more information than, than what I'm giving uh, with these radios. So, um, the underneath, I guess, is something we could probably look at. Let's have a look at that. Okay, have the bottom taken off and uh, uh, having a little look, a quick look around and uh, be able to determine that it looks like everything is uh, original. I see a fuse over here, which is great for this uh, component. And uh, we have this uh, octaplug, whatever you want to call it, right here on the back. Uh, grounding or whatever that is. Uh, the power supply coming in and and this uh, down here is where the transformer is. And this, of course you see all the uh, the tube sockets there and then we have the uh, the rotary here and the for what is that? That is for the band, band selector right here this unit here. So uh, yeah uh, a lot of components underneath, not so much on top, just capacitors and uh, tubes, basically, or valves, whatever you want to call them. Um, and uh, no really uh, identifiable things going on here. I could probably give you a bit closer of a shot. Sadly, I don't have very good lighting anywhere in in, in, in and around here. But um, let's get up a bit higher. There we go. You know, said that I can't really get really good shots. Uh, been looking around to try to find a better camera, and I've I think I've run into something that might work, be a little bit more stable, and probably would make my videos a lot uh, smoother and better uh, than what they've been. Although they've improved since I started. If you go back to my uh, original uh, videos, they were pretty rough and ready, but. I'm looking at a GoPro. Uh, I think it's the, the one I was looking at is pretty expensive. The one I found was about four hundred dollars, but uh, they're, apparently they're, they have stability uh, built into them, some sort of stability that uh, really makes things really smooth. So we're gonna see about getting a better camera, I guess. But uh, financially, that doesn't seem to be uh, on the radar at this time. But in the meantime, I, I, I guess I just have to apologize for. For what you're seeing because it's not absolutely the best even though this is a um, JVC camera and it's high definition it, it doesn't seem to be as, as good as what it should so what, what can you say anyway that'll conclude this video uh, again I'm asking for people uh, to give me some input on, on what uh, they know about this radio I can google it obviously I got the the, um, the model number and all that but uh, you know I really do appreciate hearing from you all the good friends that know a lot about these uh, tube radios, receivers, and whatnot. So I do look forward to those comments and information. And some people send PDF files and modification files and pictures and things like that. It's all wonderful. So I uh, certainly do uh, encourage all that. I want to thank you people for watching and uh, stay tuned. Uh, we'll be doing another video on another radio sometime in the future. And uh, thanks for dropping by. After some twiddling with the radio, I realized that the 
There's some calibration that needs to be done, and I'm very amateur at it right now. RF gain. Uh, I'm on 20 meter right now, and I did have a station tuned in. Now, unfortunately, I'm getting some hum from my... Uh, I don't have a set of headphones. So I'm getting some hum from the amplifier that I'm using, but I just had a station a while ago. And I apologize about the noise you're probably hearing. But sadly, I've lost the signal. But as you can see, it is tuning in something. signal here but I'm unable to find anything at this time and I don't want to belabor the video but I just want to demonstrate that it is working just I don't know what I'm doing basically and that's typical with this kind of equipment there we are I'm not sure if you can make that up, but there's somebody talking. I just can't seem to tune it in properly. Anyway, that's enough of that. There it is. I'm going to uh, see if I can pick with this a bit more off radio and hopefully get something done. But I apologize about the noise, but at least I know that it's receiving.